Hey everybody, and welcome to my overview of Topaz Studio. So Topaz Studio is the flagship product of Topaz Labs. It's relatively new. Um, it's also free to download uh, the, the actual base product. Now there are plugins you pay for that can do some special things, but for now I'm going to show you just the base product. Um, so what it is, uh, it's an image enhancement product. Now. In all of my art, I generally tend to do a lot of post-production, you know, render a scene and spend a lot of time uh, adjusting the colors and whatnot. And I used to do it in GIMP. And now GIMP is a multi-purpose image editing software for painting and all sorts of stuff. It has a very steep learning curve and it's not specific to just enhancing the colors of an image and the sort of the, the basic look of, a, of an image. But uh, Topaz Studio is, and uh, this is what it looks like here when you first start it up. And I'm going to, uh, I'm not going to load up one of my 3D renders. Rather, I'm going to do something what more people would do is uh, enhance a photograph. And I have here a photo that I took um, a few months ago of, a, of an old chimney in a uh, state park. Um, so what we're looking at here, of course, you have your image here in the middle. Uh, over on this side, you have... All, uh, these are categories of an image enhancement presets. So I'm going to pick basic over here. And you can, and then I can kind of scroll down and see the various presets and how they fix the image. I can click on them and it's going to apply that preset. Let me zoom in here a little bit so it just it's a little easier to see. And you can see all sorts of various things. What I actually like the best is uh, this basic correction. Um, so you can see here I tapped on that. Uh, if you want to look at the original, you can hit the original. You can see it hasn't done a whole lot, but it's really kind of brought out those colors. you got warmer colors here. It was an autumn day that I took this on, so it looks a little bit more autumn-like. Um, you can get pretty elaborate, though. Now, some of these may be the result of plugins I bought, so they may not be available immediately when you download this. Uh, something like, you know, crazy like this. You know, this is taking it pretty extreme. Um... Let's see, what's another feature I want to show you? Ah, So I will go back to the basic correction here. Now, uh, down here you have a couple extra little tools. I'm going to go over this in just a second. And over on this side, on the right here, you have all sorts of uh, precision things you can do. You can make some adjustments. For instance, if I want to maybe not make that adjustment I just made quite so obvious, I can turn it down. Here, let's try it on something a little bit more visible. So I've kind of halfway applied the, uh, the, I can do it in steps here. And there's a few other things. Whenever you pick a, uh, a preset over here, it will load up your palette over here with some of the stuff. But anyway, um, I wanted to go back to, let's jump back to our basic correction here. Uh, a couple of these features down here. Um, one of them is heal. And I actually found that I'm using this quite a lot. Let's say I want to get rid of this sign here. This is practically a magic tool. I just click on heal. And just kind of wipe over the sign here. And like that, the sign is gone. I and mean, it's not perfect. You can see it kind of grabbed a rock here. I can always, I guess, go over it again, see what happens. Yeah, that's a little better. I mean, it you kind of lost the fence there, but it's probably a detail. It's not going to be overly noticed. Um, also, I'm not going to be keeping this as a pure photograph. Uh, another thing that I like to use here... Um, is this uh, I can change the image size I like to have my images really large I'm not gonna do that right now because it'll overwhelm the memory with my uh, recording equipment here but uh, I uh, I don't generally recommend to increase the size unless you're gonna do a lot more enhancement later on which is what I do um, and I'll show you that in just a moment let's see what else do we have because uh, this is where our healing brush our basic correction So we'll bring that back in. Let's see if there's anything. You can uh, click on a little arrow here to do some more stuff. Say so we want auto white balance. You can turn that on. That makes it a little bit too yellowish for me in this one. Um, I can maybe bring up the lights and the shadows a little bit. Or just increase the exposure. Let's bring that shadow back down. And always I can go and check out what the uh, original looked like. You can see here it used to be kind of a dim, not quite, uh, kind of a washed out color. Now the colors are a lot 
brighter. Um, I'll move the skies a little bit too bright back here. So I can always turn the highlights down some. And I got some blue sky. It's kind of unrealistic back there. Ah, here we go. Really ratchet up the saturation here if you want to make it a lot brighter. And I like to, I like to also mess with this temperature here from time to time. But anyway, you can uh, sort of play to your heart's content with um, all sorts of stuff here. I'm just going to jump back to another one of my favorite presets. Uh, it's going to be HDR Warmer. Now, this looks a little bit burned for a photograph, but what I'm going to do is apply another filter on top of it. And that's something you can do by using this Apply button. Uh, what that has done is it's actually applied all the filters we'd come up with before or all the settings we come up with before and created a new image as a result. Now, in order, if you have a lot of memory on your computer, you could actually line up quite a few of these and work on them. I generally tend to close the last one to save memory. So now here I have the one that I fixed up. And I'm going to go and apply something a little bit wild. This is one of the plugins I like to use, which is Impression. Now I think when you get the free version of Studio, you have some Impression filters. What you're not able to do, though, is control the detail level over here on this side. So I'm going to pick Painting. And then we'll jump down here to one of my favorite presets, uh, Oil Painting 3. It gives it kind of that Van Gogh look to it. So you can see it's already, it's kind of, kind of turned it into this sort of impressionistic painting. Now when you move it, it drops the filter for a second, but I can see the altered original that I had before. And because I have the impression plugin, which is a little bit expensive, but uh, I think it's worth it because I occasionally sell prints of these, uh, these images. So they it's paid for itself. I think I paid, uh, I got it on sale for 70 ish dollars or something like that. But now because I have the impression plugin, I can do things like select different brush types and let's go up here and do higher amount of detail. Uh, various, um, various switches. I, I can actually spend all day working on an image here because uh, it's a lot of fun to just kind of play in this. So anyway, um, that's just sort of my overview of uh, Topaz Studio. Um, I'm going to leave a link to it in the uh, notes for this. Uh, if you see this on YouTube, it'll be down below in the description. If you see it on my website, which by the way, I'll bring that up really quick just to plug my website. So my new website is uh, www.fineartbydaniel.com. And I'll have this video posted on my blog there. Uh, but while you're there, you can also check out some of my art. I have a gift shop. Uh, something that's also useful is a resource page. So if you don't find the uh, link to Topaz Studio in the description of the video, I'll have it here on my list of resources. Um, here I already have uh, at least a link to my reviews of Glow and Impression, which are other Topaz products, which have now become plugins for Studio, by the way. Uh, Impression was the one I was just showing you, in fact. All right, so uh, that's my quick overview. Uh, thanks for watching, everybody, and have a good evening.